I'll also demonstrate for you real quick how to use multidimensional arrays. Pretty much the same concept, but you can hold a lot more with a, uh, a multidimensional array. Um, so say I wanted to make a new one here and we'll make it a, we'll make it a, a double. make it three here and two here. Oh, I need to put my second dimension there. That's why I was getting that error. Okay. So now I can do this. This thing can be really annoying sometimes. It's still putting that indentation there. Oh well, no big deal. I'll just bring it back. And Okay, so you see I've created basically each of these can be an array of arrays if, uh, if that's how you want to call it. So um, now I basically have this, is, this uh, zero index here can hold two different, um, two different values because I have the 0 and 1 indexes within this 0 index and so on and so on with uh, each of the next ones 1 and 2 because there's three different ones here and I can hold two values within each one so that's pretty much how that works and you can see like if you just if you put 7 and 7 here on these you'd basically have 49 different uh, spaces that you could hold things in and I'll just put a few numbers here. And now if I wanted to display the numbers in, in the uh, this print line method, all I'd have to do is just specify which one I want to see. And we'll see, we'll look at index 0 of uh, index 2 here. And we get 92.4, which is what this is set to. And uh, that's pretty much how multi-dimensional arrays work and um, arrays as well. Uh, that's just a simple, quick little look at all these. There's a lot more to these um, than just what I've shown you here. Um, there's a lot of different methods and applications for these, but uh, this is just pretty much how you use them and uh, just pretty much a quick look at it. All right, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.